Hey guys, welcome back to Natasha's Happy Plans. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different because I was recently contacted by Arteza, which is an art supply manufacturer. Right in. So here we have, let's see, these are brush markers or brush highlighters. I'm not entirely sure. Um, with a fine tip, it looks like the colors are kind of brighter or neon sort of colors. They kind of look like highlighters. Well, there are some darker ones here too, actually. So that'll be fun because I've been really excited to do more hand lettering. So let's set that aside for now and open up this next box. So here we have, okay, so these are highlighters. That's cool, because I really do love um, like mild liners and highlighters in general, so that will be fun to play around with. I love how many colors there are. It looks like maybe there's different tips. That looks really cool. I was super excited to be contacted by them because I've definitely heard good things. And I mean, it's always fun to play with new products, right? Let's open these up. I guess I'll try the brush pens first. I love the packaging. Okay, these look super pretty. So I'm gonna set these highlighters aside just for the time being while I kind of play around with these. So they're like, wow, there's a lot in here, you guys. 48. I guess they're called twee markers. Looking at the, the box. Okay, so I'm gonna set those up there and grab one of my happy notes just to have some paper to kind of play around with. So I'm just gonna pick a random color. Maybe this one. I don't want to keep them in order. It looks so pretty. So let's see here. I guess I'll start with my name. I am so not a pro at lettering. <laughs> Okay, so like first impressions, that turned out really pretty and it was actually really easy to control the tip. I am really excited about these. Rose red was that color. That's cool, they're all labeled. Oh, they're dual tip. I just saw that. Ooh, so we've got a really fine tip here. I just noticed that. And the, these write amazing, actually, you guys. Okay, I'm super excited about these because I've got like every color of the rainbow and I really like them. That's awesome. Let's see, I'm gonna try one other color and maybe I'll write my last name. Let's do like a T. 
tealish color. So this is ocean blue. That's one of my favorite, favorite colors. That's a really pretty color. And try the other side. It's almost like, so this tip is just like a fine point, I guess you would say, but it is a little, it's got like a brushy feel to it, kind of. Like I can make it a little bolder or maybe it's just the shape of it. So you can kind of, I don't know if you can see that, but I did kind of make my downstrokes a little bit darker. Really pretty. Okay, so I am really, really excited about these, you guys. Um, these are really cool. They're called Twee Markers. And they're double-sided. One side is the fine tip, 0.4 millimeters, and the other side is the brush tip. Just out of curiosity, I wanna try one of these like neon colors over here. This is neon orange. I wonder if it's gonna look a little bit like a highlighter. Yeah, totally. That's fun. That's super fun. And let's try one of these darker colors just for some contrast. This is, oh, noir. So this is black. It's a good color to try. Since that's the color that I probably use most often, this is probably what I would use to letter my name in my planner or something. Fun. Definitely not an expert when it comes to lettering at all. Um, I'd be curious to know what some actual like professional letterists, I don't know what you call them, calligraphers, what they think of these markers. I really like them though. So I'm definitely going to use them in my planner. Okay, so let's put these aside now so that and take a peek at the highlighters. And so what I'm probably gonna do with the highlighters is use some different pens and then highlight over them just to kind of see if there's any smearing or just how it looks. Sun colors. So I just want to take a peek here. We've got like we've got like different pens here. So here I've got so this is like your standard chiseled highlighter. And then here. Okay, so it's another chisel, it's just smaller. And are all these same. Looks like these might be the same. So you've got like duplicates in the box. 
Okay, yeah, so it says here on the box that you get 30 thick and 30 thin barrels, smear free. Okay, let's try this out. I'm going to grab my paper make flare to start with. So let's see, what's something that I would write in my planner? One thing that I really like doing is, well, I wouldn't say I really like doing it, but what I've liked doing in the past a few times is using highlighters to mark off when I've done something on my to-do list. So let's just say I'm gonna write laundry, since that is something that I write in my planner at least twice a week. So let's try this thick one. So, of course I did this like as soon as I had written it. It didn't really smear, maybe a very, very small amount. I know, I doubt it would have if I had waited even 10 seconds, but I'm pretty impressed because I, I literally just wrote that. So let me try the smaller barrel and see how that looks. Okay, I'm gonna wait like just a few seconds <laughs> before I do this. I like the feel of these markers though. They're, you know, the packaging, it's like a nice plastic. All right, let's try it now. Pen got a little bit away from me there. Can you see that? I feel like it might have smeared just a little bit. Although, I'm not gonna fault Arteza just yet because to be honest, um, Paper Mate flares are kind of smeary pens in general. So I'm gonna grab a different pen. So right, I don't know. Set the crock pot. That's another one that I write once or twice a week. Let's try a different color this time, just for fun. Just for funsies. Let's do pink. Right, that definitely did not smear. Now let's try the smaller barrel. Nice, very smooth. And I suppose too, since I had so many neon colors in the brush pens, I could use those for highlighting if I wanted to and have even more colors to choose from. So the last pen, well actually not the last pen. I'm gonna do, next I'm gonna do a Pilot Friction. These are erasable pens and I haven't been using them recently but they're pretty great pens. So I'm gonna write Book Grooming. That's another thing that I write in my planner from time to time. Let me put these pens aside now. Maybe I'll write one more thing with the friction. So book grooming, um, how about um, Paul Doctor? Let's try blue this time. B 
beautiful. No smearing at all. Now the smaller barrel. I actually find that with those frictions, um, there's a lot less smearing than with typical pens. So, sorry guys, I just had to cut the camera because my dogs went crazy and my daughter is napping. And when they go crazy, a lot of times she wakes up and that would not be okay with me. So, okay, so the next pen that I'm gonna try is a Pilot G2. I know a lot of planner babes like this pen. So I'm gonna do, put, close away. And pick up dry cleaning. Let's do this orange, neon orange color. Okay, that one smeared probably the most. <laughs> Can you see that? Of course, I didn't really wait for it to dry. And if this is in my planner, I would be um, probably crossing these off on a different day than when I wrote them, so, or at least later that day, so probably have more time to dry. Just blowing on a little bit, come on. Okay. Okay, still smeared. Okay, so we definitely get some smearage on the Pilot G2. None at all on the friction. Hardly any, like maybe just a teeny tiny bit, if that, on the Ink Joy, and very little on the Paper Make Glare. Sorry guys, I can't think straight right now. <laughs> I just think my dogs are gonna go off again at any minute here. Um, so overall, you know, the, the highlighters are cool. I'll, I'm definitely gonna use them. Probably not until after ink dries really, really well. Um, and but the product that I'm really excited about is these babies right here. These brush pens are incredible. So if you liked this video, please click the like button and subscribe to see more of my videos and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload something new. Have a beautiful day, everyone.